welcome back to Rusty Heron's podcast. And if you haven't already, go ahead and smash the subscribe button down below and over here as well. Check out the latest review right here, which is Raw at the show, and check out the eye for all them. There's always because there is the latest gameplay, and of course, it's down below in the below as always. And also, there is a podcast sub. I apologize for all the technical difficulties yesterday. Oh my gosh, was that horrible! But it is updated and it's finally on Spotify. So I apologize in advance. Like I said, it's on Apple Podcasts and it's on um, Podomatic app and Spotify. So go check it out down below. It is the WWE Crown Jewel predictions. So go check out that down below. And uh, let's get on to it. This is a SmackDown Live at the show. And I'm going to listen to WWE shows. And let's get on to it. I am trying to get into the spirit of authority. Um, but anyways, let's get on to it. Okay. Smash opens up with the uh, Team Hogan and Team Flair in the ring with The Miz from Miz TV. The Miz introduces both teams for Hogan and Flair to um, assaults. Hogan suggests a match with um, Corbin, Nakamura, and Zayn versus Ali Gable and Reigns. Zayn says he won't compete because, uh, but he gets Cesaro to take his um, place. A brawl breaks out with everyone at ringside. The New Day versus um, Robert Roode and... Dolph Ziggler, Robert Roode, and Dolph Ziggler won. Okay. They rival and Roode um, attack the New Day um, after the match. Um, Heavy Machinery comes out for the save. Heavy Machinery and New Day send the revival and Roode and Ziggler pack in. Uh, Lacey Evans versus the Jobbers. Lacey Evans won. G McIntyre versus Kal- Kalisto. Kalisto won. Braun hits two. Power Slam and says this is what will happen to Furry. Um, he says Gulick deserves to be in the ring, but Fury doesn't. Michael Cole interviews Daniel Bryan after the break. Cole asks if the guest movement is back. Um, before um, Bryan can answer, Shinsuke, music, um, Shinsuke Nakamura's music hits, and he comes out um, with Sam Zayn, of course. The show clip of Bryan telling off the crowd a few, uh, about a few months ago. Um, Zayn says he and Nakamura have a lot in common with uh, Bryan. Um, he says... Um, Brian can either go forward or uh, revive the Yes movement or move forward and join him and Shinsuke. Sammy offers a handshake and Brian looks around in the crowd. He almost shakes it, but he ends up just walking away. Nikki Cross versus Mandy Rose. Nikki Cross won. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this name, but I'm going to try. Um, Kane Vanessa. I'm, I'm still trying to get better at his name. And Ray Mysterio makes their way to the ring after the break. Ray thanks the fans for supporting him and his son, Dominic. Lesnar and Heyman appear on the big screen and send it of the, in the ring. They reveal that Lesnar has talk, attacked Dominic again. Mysterio and Vane um, head to the back as we go to the break. Ray and Kane uh, are with Dominic backstage when Lesnar attacks them with a trash can and he throws Ray into the wall and f boss Kane onto the, a prone a prone Dominic. Roman, Roman Reigns and Ali and Chada Gable versus Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro and Baron Corbin, Roman Reigns and Ali and Chad Gable won. Team Hogan celebrates their win in the show, rating 60 out of 60. I mean, tonight, the, that show was okay, but not the best, to be honest. That's just my opinion. I feel like it was really boring, to be honest, and it's really rare for SmackDown. Usually, they're the, like, better show, but this week, it felt like Raw was a little bit higher, you know what I mean? Just a little bit. Um... But anyways, there were still some good matches as we get closer to WWE Crown Jewel. And that's all I have for you guys today. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the latest video, which is Raw's show. And don't forget to check out all the stuff below in the below. As always, check out I, as always, too. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.